So, every show has a shit season. Hi, I'm back again. Been a long time. Started to do a Sleepy Hollow review just of this first half of the season. Part A, let's call it Part A. Now, I was really excited to have Sleepy Hollow back because I love it. I mean, come on, Sleepy Hollow is really good. And I was excited to see what type of new thing they're going to bring in, especially how Abby and the gang were going to get out of Purgatory and get out of their um, situation that they were in. You know, Ichabod stuck in um, the box thing and Jenny, who was, you know, knocked out. So anyways, um, I really liked the first episode, how everyone, like, it, it was a fake out at the beginning and then everyone just got back on track, you know, got back to to doing what they had to do. This season, this first half of the, first half of the season felt a little bit lacklustre to me because there were good episodes but it kind of dragged and just because you have more episodes i don't feel like you need to drag out the the plot so much and with the introduction of new characters such as um this nick holly guy like i think he has been mm, this kind of why are you even there like the whole the best episode of this first half was definitely the the mama episode yeah that was the best one because it focused on the mill mill sisters we didn't have any crane drama which has now become just so ugh, exhausting right now it focused on the mill sisters and we got to see a little bit more backstory with jenny and abby and just it was nice and it was a nice break from the whole ichabod and his flashbacks because abby barely has any flashbacks but Ichabod gets one every other episode. Every, yeah, every other episode. It's like, one after the other. And it's like, okay, yeah, we know you knew all these people from so so places, but no one really cares. So that was good. But this, this holy guy, he was in that episode. And you could have easily replaced him with, like, anything. Anyone or anything because he served no purpose there like he was just there to kind of flow with Abby She didn't she doesn't seem to be feeling him at all. So there you, you have that and then you have um, He's just standing around where they're um, removing all the The wall the wallpaper to reveal that like, their mother's um Mural that she painted of them or she drew of them on the walls and he was just there looking like oh, Wow, uh, so He's been a bad choice this season. Also, Abraham. He's not really a new character, but we get to see more of him. And again with him, he actually does serve a purpose, yeah, being one of the horsemen. But I think by showing his face and giving him this whole character thing, it's kind of less than the horseman for me anyways, you know, by humanizing him in this way. Because now he just seems like the jilted ex-lover who nice guy uh, sh should have been with me blah 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 be like uh, it's damn love triangle thing katrina they even need to make this girl evil or just kill her off because i don't understand yeah why they keep on shoving katrina in our faces and in writing they always tell us show don't tell right show don't tell but in sleepy hollow they have been telling us and telling us that katrina is a really powerful witch i swear down she is yeah on my mom's life she is a powerful witch and i'm just like well show us then or we get a little here and there and it's just like okay she's not really doing anything i mean katrina could have been written in such a good way like she could have been written like a sansa stark you know from the books from the game of thrones books where she's using like soft power and coercion to kind of spy and navigate her way in ca captivity if we have if we would have seen her using her powers exercising her powers like okay she couldn't use magic could we at least see her trying to like regain some of her abilities and just think oh 
my magic's not not working anymore. If she would have, if we would have just seen her trying to move a pencil, that would have been something. Instead of just, I don't know, slapping Abraham and stabbing him. It's like, witches kill only with magic. In the words of the Grand High Witch in The Witches from by Roald Dahl. You know, witches kill only with magic. So why aren't you killing with magic? Even when she was out of the house, she, she did, well, she did do something in the last episode, in this last um, episode here. But like, she still looked surprised that she was doing it. Like, oh! My, I have magic. It's like, no, you should... Yeah, Katrina's character is just a letdown. This whole mystical pregnancy birth thing that they've done, such a shitty trope that just gets done too much in sci-fi and fantasy. And I didn't want to see it because you, you expect more. I expect more from Sleepy Hollow, you know, to go down that route. There have been the whole Abby Mills deserve better hashtag on Twitter that came up for a while and um, also Jenny Mills, they were talking about Jenny and um, and Katrina as well and even um, Captain Irving because it felt like all these characters were being sidelined for Ichabod and Abraham and um, what's his name? John Noble's character, what's his name? Jeremy? No, his real name. I mean, his his goth name. What's his name? Henry Parrish, that's it. Sorry, you know, Henry Parrish and Ichabod and even, to an extent, extent um, Nick Holly because he has this, Nick has all the same skill sets as Jenny, yet we've seen more of Nick this first half than we've seen of Jenny. And Jenny, Lindy Greenwood has been made a, a regular, so why are we seeing this guy this new guy who came out of nowhere instead of Jenny. It's just... Mm. Oh, and this whole Get Moloch plot, I thought that what they were rehashing this same plot line for this, these few episodes. It was, oh, we have to stop Moloch from rising. Okay, let's rescue Katrina. But we also need to stop Moloch from rising and rescue Katrina and then possibly save, um, redeem Henry and then, you know, Save Katrina, save Katrina, save Princess Peach, I mean, um, Katrina. It was, we were going around in circles, you know. If it had been, um, if, maybe if, um, the Mama episode wasn't just a one episode, if it had carried on, there may have been some build-up, and maybe if they would have gotten, um, Captain Irving out of the, the psychiatric ward place, Tarrytown, quicker, this his his death in the last episode wouldn't have been such a aggravating thing because he would just he he was rarely there like all these people of color and women characters were just being sidelined this season and it feels like a bait and switch and people can clock that much more quicker now because that's hap that happened with twisted it's happened with many many things if you don't know what a bait and switch is it's when this really really diverse cast or t tv show and stuff is there for a while and it brings in a lot of viewers and then slowly but surely all those people of color and you know gay and lgbt people just get erased they just get moved out of the plot line and then you're left with a very white straight male centered show like heroes for example when he remember when heroes started out it was very diverse people were talking about it all the time and as the seasons progressed and it got on yeah all of them were gone like i think by the i never finished watching the last few episodes of the last season because mm, it only the, the only people who had who were people of color were who was it hero and and Mohinder, so three Asian men in this sea of white and it didn't start like that in the beginning so I guess that turned a lot of people off and even with Twisted well Twisted was kind of doomed to fail in the beginning because it focused on Joe instead of Danny so yeah but yeah people are saying that Sleepy Hollow is trying to pull a bait and switch on us and we're not about that life and they'll end up leaving the show because these days because there's so many good 
best of things on t- television to watch nowadays, people won't come back. You know, I know people who have given up on The Walking Dead in season two. And even though The Walking Dead is m- way better now in season five, I think we're in, compared to season two, people still say, oh, no, I couldn't get past season two. People talking around the place and doing all this and just chatting on the looking for Sophia. But I get, but I get that every season, every show has a bad season, even Sailor Moon had a bad season which was in my opinion arc four that was a really bad season if it followed the manga more it would have been it would have been better but i can look forward to that soon anywho um i'm not really too excited for the next half of sleepy hollow really i mean i hope it's good but the writers, the sleepy writers, probably seen the the posts and everything, and the hashtags and the basic the critic the criticism. So maybe they can fix it and come back if they come back in season three. I hope they come back in season three because I like Nicole Bahar and I like seeing her on as Abby and you know Jenny as well. So I hope. They come back stronger in, in the second half. Just kill off Holly. He serves no purpose. Bring in a Daniel Henney-esque photographer, journalist guy who probably fall in love with Abby. You know, just someone... If you're gonna... If, if Abby must have a love interest, let's not make it this Nick Holly character because he already banged her sister once, so why is he going... No, okay? Because any how there's like tension between Abby and Jenny fighting over the scruffy and looking Sons of Anarchy wannabe dropout Matthew McConaughey second rate whatever he is yeah arguing and getting in between their relationship that's not good I'm not about that life but yeah hopefully he comes back strong well bye